Good morning, my Virgos. We are doing your reading. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. If you are a Virgo, know a Virgo, feel like being a Virgo. Come one, come all. I honestly, I'm just glad you're here. I really am. Be naked or in a three-piece suit. I really don't care. I'll take you as you are, Virgo. Like Billy Joel would say, I love you just the way you are. Okay, Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. I was shuffling quite a bit on your energy like the creeper I am before I hit record. So I think that's that feels pretty good. What needs to come out for the Virgos? Collective energy, what's the message this morning? What is it for my Virgos? What is it? What is it? Ooh, okay, here's the funny thing, Virgo. I shuffle this deck first. I have this like system down and this is the clarifying deck, whatever clarifying deck and look at bottom of the deck. Six of cups. What did I pull? The Six of Cups. I felt that. Someone reaching to you. Either you're thinking of good thoughts from the past on someone or somebody. You know what? Honestly, what I'm feeling? Somebody's thinking that of you. Six of Cups. Good memories. They're thinking of you, Virgo. They're thinking of you. Okay. What's influencing this Six of Cups? What's influencing it? What's influencing it? The Two of Cups reverse. It's one of those reads, huh? So, you know, there's two cards that talk about soulmates, and I pulled them both in consecutive. Six of Cups, Two of Cups, soulmate energy. Now, this is a breakup. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Somebody can't let my Virgo go. They're like, oh, I love the way Virgo organized that closet. Look at her. Look at the way she does her hair. I love how she puts those leaves in her hair. No one does it like Virgo. Yeah, it's one of those readings, guys. It's one of those readings. Okay, what is the reason for the reading? Why are we all here today, kids? What is it, Virgo? What is it? What is it? What is it, Virgo? The pages. <laughs> and I have to say, okay two things the page of swords i always say this is the virgo card because this is some serious this is the mo the biggest analyzer of the deck even more than the hermit he is so sneaky he's so sly he's so smart he stands on all of those books because he loves to research what is this person researching you virgo you page of swords also is your internet spy card i'm telling you this person is watching you do you know it i mean even and they look alike yeah, I mean, it's so funny. And I feel like there's some big distance between you and this person because look, he's got to get, he has to stand on all these books to get a good view. And he's trying to offer you like a wish, you know, dandelions. Do you remember that as kids where you make a wish on dandelions? I just remember that. He's making a wish. You are his wish fulfillment or her wish fulfillment. I'm sorry, I get stuck because the, this is a guy, this is a girl. If you are interested, if you're a woman interested in a woman, Oh, I mean, it's energy. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. But Six of Cups, there. this guy is watching you from a distance. Or girl is watching. It doesn't matter. I can just, you guys know. I'm feeling so cheesy. I'm, I'm cheesy. I'm, I'm, you know, when you're smiling so hard, your cheek muscles hurt. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. This is too cute. Okay, what's in the past, Virgo? What happened between you two in the past? What happened between you? Did you break this soulmate's heart? What happened? What happened? What happened in the past? Yeah, hangman. Pisces energy. Look at the major arcana. I guess this is this is the only one. For some reason, two of cups, I don't know, feels like major arcana. Getting a fresh perspective. Something tells me, Virgo you saw something that had to cause this breakup because between the hangman and the six of cups we have a two cups reverse we have you i feel like what you saw something page of swords is down here even though yes i feel like this person's watching you i'm an intuitive reader so i will pull cards when i i have to go with the feeling right so i feel like you saw something online that caused this breakup i think you care about this person i'm not gonna lie and you can't lie to me because the cards are showing it I think you do care about this person. This person seriously still cares about you because, well, they're here and this is why we're having this reading today. But the two of cups in between, I do feel like you saw something. Maybe you saw somebody else they're dealing with because of two people. But we shall see. Let's, let's carry on, Virgo. Let's carry on. What's on your mind? 
What is on that hermit mind of yours? What is it? What is it, Virgo? What's on your mind? What happened here? The Yeah, Ace of Swords talking about clarity. I'm telling you, you saw something. And something you didn't want to see, you know? I, 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 you cannot convince me you did not think of this person as a soulmate and they you. And either you saw something that made you think they were dealing with somebody else or they were dealing with somebody else. Either way, you got a perspective and it ended. They're still watching you. And you read tarot like you can take the whole reading as a whole or you can read by rows. And so far we got a fresh perspective, a breakup, but Virgo's on their own. Virgo's looking really good. This this person's liking the way Virgo puts um, leaves in her hair and he's like, isn't she just, she's just like the prettiest ever. And when you read up and down, I'm telling you, I'm getting strong. This You are this person's wish fulfillment. He's holding a dandelion. And I, yeah, it's like a childhood. And Six of Cups is childhood. I feel like this is like a childlike, maybe you brought the child within them. And I'm not saying immaturity, but maybe they're a person that's more serious. And you you were a light in their life. You brought the happiness within them. And maybe they don't have a lot of happiness. I don't know, but they have very, very good memories of you. And what's clear with this Ace of Swords, even though it's on your mind, I think, oh my gosh, this is, a this is a cheesy, sweet, sweet reading. I think you are the key to their happiness. See how he's holding the key? I think you are. But we shall, let's see what happens. What's in the near future? What's in the near future for my Virgos? What's in the near future? What is it? The Seven of Swords, an apology. Oh. Yeah, whatever you saw this hangman, I think what you think you're dealing with was a snake. I think you were thinking, is this a player? This the, See see the woman, how she's covered in flowers, but underneath she's a snake. That means she portrays herself as a way of being honorable, as a loving person, as a giving person. But see how she's holding on to her own egg. And I feel like those eggs on the ground down here was your energy, your investment. This person was very, very selfish. Now, were they, were they messing around with others? Well, the Seven of Swords is, and it's reversed. I feel like this person knows you caught them. If they admit it, it's a different story. But because it's reversed, it's like they know that you know, and they're sorry for it. Coming in, I feel like it's an apology. It's an apology. Bottom of the deck, we have the Death card and the Ten of Cups. Oh my gosh, look at this. And the four of wands reverse. What are they apologizing for? And the magician near a card. It keeps going and going and going. This person wants to fix this. Four of wands reverse and five of wands. They were playing. Like, I think they were playing games with you. And I will tell you, I think they were. Maybe they were playing games with you, but then they kind of got caught. I, I think it wasn't until, I know I'm confusing, I'm sorry. I think it wasn't until you walked away did they realize how invested they were you had to walk away for them to realize it. Ten of Cups and the Death card. I think they're... I never like saying this because I don't want to give people false hope. Have they changed? It, death card and Ten of Cups. It's possible. It's very possible. I just don't want some of you to go back in a player's clutches. You know what I mean? Use discernment. Be very careful. Always follow your intuition. In this specific reading, this person... I mean, we do have the five of wands in the center. It's not reversed. Maybe this is how they operate. They just kind of play games with people. Maybe somebody was playing them. And that, that could be too. With the five of wands, what I'm getting with a woman, maybe they had somebody in their ear playing with their lives and telling them about, you know, you know, Virgo, you can't trust them. But this is what they want. Ten of cups and death card, a new start. I'm getting that really strongly. Okay, let's carry on. What, or how do you see yourself right now, Virgo? How do you see yourself? You know what's funny is I have four readings more to do today and I had to do yours first for some reason. Now, well, this is a big message. This must be why. How do you see yourself? How do Virgo see themselves? How do Virgo see themselves? Yeah, four swords. I think you're good. I don't think you're with somebody if you're with, I don't know, because the six of cups, she's laying down and she's at peace. 
I think you've made peace with this. I think you really love this person. I think you know that they were a soulmate. But I think you had to make like amends with it, you know, just so you can move on. I feel like there was a lot of healing that happened here. And now you're like light as a feather. You, I, I feel like you were reborn from this. But you are really good right now. How you see yourself, you don't really have worries about this. Do you wish it could have went differently? Yes, but it didn't. Okay, what's the energy coming in to influence this? And usually I'm telling you it's tied to the Seven of Swords reverse. So let's see. Energy coming in to influence this reading for Virgo. What's the energy coming in to influence this for Virgo? What is it? The Seven of Pentacles reverse. I think I, I'm actually getting both. I feel like you feel like you wasted your time with this person. I think you feel like you got played. I think you, you may... I, I think they could have led you on or breadcrumbed you and got you hooked initially. And I do feel like that could be their game, but I do feel like they got hooked too. And maybe you, that for the first time ever, they got hooked by somebody they played. Um, but also this person, I with the Seven of Pentacles reverse, it's a reflection on time that's passed. Maybe there has been seven months. There has been no communication could some of you could even be seven years seven whatever it is it the, the i'm i'm not into timing i don't even know why i went down that road but the seven of pentacles reverse i feel like this person wasted what i'm getting strongly and they look so much alike these two cards that's why i feel like it's connected what this person wants to apologize for is i feel like they wasted this opportunity with you they threw away something that could really be bountiful and grow and they just took it for advantage it would always be there and it wasn't and if they come back to apologize or not i'm telling you as it's in the cards this person's really they regret it they do regret it four pentacles and the hermit this is you locked down i think you're going to be very have a lot of discernment who you allow behind your gates you know she's got four locks on protection mode and now you're within your own power. You're within your own cell with the hermit mode. Hermit, like I said, is an analyzer. The page of swords is an analyzer. You, I do feel like you're, you're healed. You're whole again. And you don't want to be that hurt again. And I don't blame you. Queen of Pentacles beneath that is a person who can do it all. Maybe some of you are just focused on your career, looking good, helping others. Maybe love is just not in the forefront. But I'm t Virgo, I feel like you were really invested in this it's too bad that this person couldn't grow up when they needed to grow up. What is in the, um, what's in your emotions? What's in Virgo's emotions? Ooh, yeah, the full reverse wanted to pop out. I think that has to do with love. What's in Virgo's emotions? Ten of swords reverse, yeah. I do feel like this, this six of cups is them looking at this two of cups reverse thinking, damn it, I wasted this opportunity. If I could only go back. Virgo, what's in your emotions? And maybe you're picking up their energy and maybe you're thinking them all of, all of a sudden. But what you can't let go is how the, how much they hurt you. How much. And you know why? The bigger the attachment, the harder it is to let them go and the, the harder it is to heal. It's like, I feel like they really stomped your heart here. Ten of Swords is just, that doesn't pop out for like a casual fling. This is someone you saw forever with. This is a soulmate. And you, with it, with it being reversed, you're not letting them go either, Virgo. Don't lie to me. You're not letting them go. It's in. It's right here. But, we, but you're not letting that pain go. I don't know. I honestly, let's see the outcome. If they came back and apologized, I just, maybe some of you would take a chance and some of you wouldn't. That's just, I'm, I'm getting that on the fence here. What's the outcome? What's the outcome for Virgo? What's the outcome? Yeah, 10 of Wands reverse. You're not, you, you, no, no, no. I say you're not. You are. You're putting this burden down. Something that you, and I feel like you were willing to do whatever it took for this person, which is why they wasted the opportunity. That's why they thought you would be there forever. That's why they wasted time. They wasted energy and they just took and took and took and took from you because they thought, well, Virgo's never going to go anywhere. So they had room to be as immature as long as they, they thought for pretty much indefinitely. But it wasn't until you pulled your tree out of the ground and, and got on that snail and moved forward 
you know, is when they're like, holy shit. And Virgo dropped the burden. And I feel like some of you did this quick. I think they didn't even see it coming. You dropped what could be so bountiful and, and really, I just feel like you guys got out of there quick. You dropped the burden. It's just, it's sad. It's, it's such a waste. Okay, Six of Cups at the bottom of this deck. Let's see where this goes. Tell me about the Six of Cups and Two of Cups reverse for Virgo. Tell me about the Six of Cups. Ten of Cups just flew by. I saw that fly by. Six of Cups and Two of Cups reversed. Reverse for Virgo. What is this? Ah! Lost cards. Lost cards. Oh, guys, you cannot believe this. You will not believe what fell in my lap. The Six of Cups. Memories of the past. They want to heal this. Temperance and Six of Cups. Because you stopped working on it. Eight of Pentacles reverse. That's your card. You stopped working on this. And this is what they want to heal. I mean... And look at that, strength and ace of swords. I feel like this person will will be here energetically. Some of them, they're a coward. They're just a coward. If they make an appearance, I would, I'd be shocked because I think they're a coward. They are. They know, oh my gosh, this keeps going. I'm sorry, guys, justice, hermit card. I don't have enough hands to hold all this. Hermit card, the justice. I'm looking at the bottom of the deck, what's going on underneath. We have the hermit and the justice. This person knows you were you were it. Look at that. They looked, I think they're still watching. Maybe you're dealing with another Virgo um, or a Libra here. But they know that you were it. Maybe some of you, they were already dealing with somebody else because the four of wands is here. But whatever it is, you were their wish fulfillment. Four of wands, ace of swords. They're really clear on that. Ace of swords, four of wands, star. You are their wish fulfillment. Strength is, I feel like they're holding it back. That's why I'm saying for, I'd be shocked if this person is going to come forward. But this is, this is what's going on here. Underneath the deck, what's going on within, within them. I know you guys are like, oh my God, no, a person from the past again. Not one of these readings. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Okay. What is this page of swords? The reason for the reading. What is this page of swords? I mean, look at him. He's holding on to his wish. I just can't. I've never noticed that in this card. I think that's why I'm so shocked. He's holding on to his wish fulfillment. One day it's going to happen. One day. One day I'm going to find you. One day. One day. One day, Virgo. Some of you, this person was already involved. And that's the strength. That's why they're holding back. And they just can't. But you are their wish fulfillment. Tell me about this page of swords. What is this page of swords for Virgo? And the Hierophant reverse. They just, they can't make it work. Either they don't know how to make it work, I'm telling, or they're already involved. Give me another card on that. Why, why the Hierophant reverse? Uh, they just, yeah, they can't come together on this. They can't make that union, take it to a higher level. And it's funny because I'm looking at a page and it's like a... What you need is a king of swords, a king of cups, an emperor. You need someone to take control. That's why it's the Hierophant reverse. This person can't do it because I feel like they're already involved. What is this Hierophant reverse? Yeah, star reverse. They can't make it happen. But you, it's still there. You're still their wish fulfillment. They just can't make it happen. This is why they're the ten of swords in the sun. You, it's just like this is, it's just, and if they, if they, if you see them for, if somehow you see them, I just want to say this for somebody out there. If you see them and they seem to be okay and you know, they're, they moved on, they haven't. That's why it's the 10 of swords and sun. I feel like they portray themselves as the sun, but inside there, in the, it's the 10 of swords because the ace of cups and the reverse and the 10 of cups. It's like, they can't give to something. I do feel like they're already involved. I do, I do, I do. You cannot convince me on that one. Okay, tell me about the hangman in the past for Virgo. I feel like I got to shuffle. I saw way too many cards here. Okay. What is this hangman in the past? What's this hangman in the past? Yeah, four of pentacles reverse. You saw, you got, you saw something, Virgo. You saw something and you had to release them. Which is why there's that two of cups reverse and eight of pentacles reverse in the center between you two. 
you had to release them. Yeah, you saw something. Oh, page of Cups reverse. You stopped giving to it. You stopped. I'm telling you, it happened so fast. Six of Pentacles reverse and Ten of Swords. It, it, you had a dark night of the soul that lasted for some time. Six of Pentacles reverse. You like like that. Stop giving to it. Stop giving your energy. Maybe this person was used to com your communication every day. And I think they looked forward to it. I don't know. It's just sad. Okay, what is this Ace of Swords on your mind? Ah, ha, 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 five of wands. Okay, I feel like this person is so strong here that this is becoming their reading because I'm telling you, I feel like the Ace of Swords is them. But it's also you clear on this situation exactly how it is. And some of you know they're involved. Some of you, maybe that's what you found out, but you deserve better. That's what you're clear on. Virgo deserves better. What they're clear on is that you are their wish fulfillment. We have two stars and then him holding a, a dandelion wish. I mean, tell me, you, I'm not the only one that grew up like that. You pick all these dandelions and blow and make a wish. Make a wish and then blow, I guess. Okay, tell me about this Ace of Swords on Virgo's mind. What is this Ace of Swords on Virgo's mind? The King of Swords reversed. Oh, I love it. I love it. You, you're like wimp. Wimp. I thought you would come after me. I thought you'd step up, you wimp. King of Swords reverse. Also, there it's so funny. Six of, they think of you as the Six of Cups, right? Sweet memories of the past. What you think, remember I'm clarifying this card so it's in between. What you're thinking, what's the key, what's going on in that little Virgo head of yours, the Nautilus, the little spiral, spiral, spiral. King of Swords reverse and Ten of Swords reverse because remember, this is on your mind, this is in your emotions. You're like, oh my God, you wasted my time, you asshole. You asshole. You couldn't step up. I was in it for so long. I was in it. I would have, I would have done anything for you. And it's just like King of Swords reverse. You just, you couldn't step up. They couldn't step up. Some of you are like thinking, what a narcissistic asshole. Sorry with my language. Oh my God, it's bringing it out of me. Look at that, King of Cups reverse. What's on your mind? Knight of Wands reverse, Strength reverse. Why they couldn't give to it? Because they're a player. Some of you are convinced that they are a player. Ace of Swords reverse, that they're a liar. It keeps going and going at the bottom of this deck. Tell me about the Seven of Swords reverse in the near future. And for some of you, they were a player. Even if they were married, they were a player. And that's what you know to be true. Tell me about this Seven of Swords reverse in the near future. Tell me about this Seven of Swords reverse in the near future for Virgo. Yeah, the Chariot reverse. They had no intention of, oh, it, it makes me nauseous. Actually, I just got really nauseous. Seven of Swords reverse, the Chariot reverse. One, I don't feel like this person, if they present themselves as happy and, uh, you know, they have the, the, it's a wonderful life over there. It's not, that's really, uh, it's not the case. It's really not the case. I don't think this person's in control of their own life. I don't think this person, if they, if everything was perfect and they could go back, I think you are their wish fulfillment. I think they're into something that they can't move forward on. What they want to apologize to is they can't make, they can't get victory with you. They can't do it because they are tied to something else. What makes it shitty is even if they're tied to something else, I feel like they kind of dabbled in other areas. Not, maybe not physically, but they looked or the possibility. And maybe some of you wondered, even if this person was free as a bird, would they still want only me? And I, that is what, that is what probably is hard to let go of. Seven of Swords reverse and the Chariot reverse. <sighs> And for you, I don't feel like you can move forward with this person because you see them so clearly for how they are. And it's one of those things, it's like in this life, it's not meant to be. And maybe they were a lesson for you for, maybe this got you on a track that you wouldn't have been on, a personal growth, a, uh, maybe making a certain type of money or you're going to, you know what I mean? You are finding yourself because this person came into your life. And because this had to happen, you, they discovered a heart. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, seriously, the King of Swords upright is not the most feely guy. And uh, reverse, he is really not in touch with his emotions. I mean, this, this guy, it's hard to change his mind, right? I think you uncovered something like she's pulling down a zipper. Not like that, dirty birds, not like that. 
but a zipper to the soul. I think this person covers themselves up and disguises themselves. So that reminds me of camouflage, like the military, you know, they'd wear in the woods. But you, you, you literally uncovered something for them, you know? You touch them. You really, t not like that, dirty birds, not like that. Maybe some of you, but that's not where I'm going with this. You touch their soul where I don't think anyone's ever touched their soul. And I think that initially scared them. And maybe that's why they had to go look at other people. And like, oh my God, this isn't happening. This isn't happening. They don't know how. Th this person is not in touch with their feelings. Let's put it that way, okay? What, and then maybe next life, maybe they can learn this lesson. And, and maybe you, maybe you guys will come together, you know, and maybe in this life too, but maybe there's a lot of maybes. I know, I know, but this, this is a difficult situation because I think Virgo, you would be, I would, you would be ready, but I do think there's something you need to do as well for yourself. And I just want to say that for some Virgos out there, maybe this was a timeout so you can discover yourself and your strengths because I do feel like you probably had a life where people took advantage of you and you didn't live up to your full potential and maybe that bothers you and now it's about you needing to live up to your full p potential to make yourself happy and this person needs to find their heart like the Grinch and uh, five ten years it could be just right but right now both both people need to do something separately from each other okay what is the four swords right here how Virgo sees themselves. What's the Four of Swords? The Knight of Wands. This Sagittarius energy, this is you. Like I was saying, I think, now my nose is itching, and I just took a shower, guys, so it's, sorry, my head, everything, before I get ready to say this. But just kind of what I said it, this person came into your life to show you who you can become, right? Knight of Wands is, he's young, he's an explorer, but I feel like you're, you're early on your path to finding out who you really are. This is very important. I want to say that again. This is very important. You need to do something that doesn't involve this person. You need to do something that's for yourself. You need to do something that's for your kids, if you have kids. But you have to stop sleeping your life away. You have to stop watching your life go by. Now be an active participant and go be a badass Virgo. You need to do that. And I'm telling you, I think this person came into your life to reflect what you may be missing. Maybe they're career-wise, they're doing really well. Personally, they're a freaking basket case. You emotionally are strong, but career-wise, there's something maybe you really need to do. You know what I mean? It's a yin and a yang. And that's why I feel like this is definitely a soulmate thing. You both triggered something within one another. You just can't be together right now. This person has a lot of growing up to do. What is the Seven of Pentacles reverse for Virgo coming in? That feels like a big timeout. What's the Seven of Pentacles reverse for Virgo coming in? The Tower reverse. Yeah, this is can't happen right now. This cannot happen. I don't want you Virgos going out there. And speaking of Virgo, if this is your story and this person did it to you, you absolutely, under no circumstance, go chase them down. This is, you're doing, you're, you'd be doing this again. You'd be doing this again, carrying the weight. Do you want to carry the weight? Did you not learn your lesson the first time around? Stop carrying their weight. They need, if they're going to come, they need, this is part of their lesson. They need to freaking mature and not be, not go hiding and be a tyrant and be all talk and no action. They need to learn how to do the action. So I do feel like this is a timeout. Seven of Pentacles reverse, the Tower reverse. Is this a soulmate? Hell yes, this is a soulmate. Not all soulmates are like easy. Actually, I don't think any soulmate path is easy and because it, it, it does f trigger the person to grow and it's usually that comes through pain lots of pain this ten of swords is on both ends this this is going to stay like this until this lesson is fully learned so that's why if you wonder if, if this has been five years you're like why can't i forget this person why they were such an asshole because you still have something to do that you need to do their, their energy is going to still ruminate. Is that the word? They're, it's still going to be floating around. But your energy is around them too. Because they need to mature. They need to realize that I just feel like inside they're a little, they're a little boy and a little girl. You know? Maybe they're both a little boy and a little girl. Maybe they're and or or. But they're still a child within that was really, really hurt. And then they kind of they, they're not in touch with their emotions. I think they disconnected a long time ago, but you opened this person up. 
And I don't think they knew what to do with that at the time. What is this Ten of Swords reversed in your emotions? What is this Ten of Swords reversed in Virgo's emotions? What is this? Yeah, the world reversed. You cannot let it go. And I think some of you, it pisses you off because you want to let this go fully. You don't know why it still lingers. Ten of Swords reversed, the world reversed. If you had your way and you had a magic wand and you could just, you would banish this person from your energy and from your memories forever. You know, like that men in black, you know, like doot doot. Is that what it was? Doot doot. And then it erases their memory. But, you know, God works in mysterious ways. And I don't think this person is a, I, it, he, it's meant to be there until you need to figure this out. You need to figure out what you need to do. I can't help that. Even if a Virgo is watching this and they're like, I'm a doctor. I, I have a great career. There's something you need to do personally. Then that's what needs to be carried out. Unless you're a Virgo that resonates on this side and your career is fine, but you need to stop being an asshole. Do you hear me? Okay, let's carry on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be losing viewers. <laughs> okay, what is this Ten of Swords reverse in the outcome card? What is the Ten of Swords? Not Ten of Swords, I said Ten of Swords. That's here. And that's funny, I just noticed the two tens. Almost completion. Almost completion, but that's, but you're just not letting this go. And they're not, you know why? Because they're not letting you go. This is a really sad case. This is a really shitty version of Romeo and Juliet that don't get together. Not even to die in each other's arms. This is really pathetic. Okay. What is this Ten of Wands reverse in the outcome? Yeah, Eight of Wands reverse. You can't let it... You, you know what? You can't let go the potential of what it could be. Eight of Wands reverse. But you you had no choice but to stop it. You had to block it because you have way too much self-esteem to carry on to having somebody play you like that. Yeah, Queen of Wands reverse. You had to block this. I do feel like this person's a bit of a player. Queen of Wands reverse. I do feel like they're also in a long-term relationship or marriage. It's just like they, they want their cake and their brownies and their cookies and their Cheetos and eat it too, you know? And they, I don't think they're used to giving. It, it, even if they're married, I don't even think they give much to their spouse. Tell me another, give me another card on this Ten of Wands. Ten of, I keep saying Ten of Wands. Yeah, it's Ten of Wands reverse. Give me another card on that. And the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, this person's like, this is too. I feel like this is how they see you. I think they see you single, looking good, making the money, and they're like, oh, I could have had that. Why did I screw it up? But this is how this person operates. I think they probably have money. They just don't have anything else. And it is a Virgo card again. I, some of you are dealing with another Virgo. But Nine of Pentacles, they're, they're all about themselves. And maybe, just maybe Virgo, you showed them. I, that's funny, I flipped it upside down. You showed them. I think they would be willing to give to you if they could. And I think that's where they're like, I wasted this opportunity. What is, give me another card on this Ten of Wands and the outcome reverse. Yeah, and the lovers. Soulmate, another card of soulmate. I think for some of you, this will this will come together. It will come together, but don't, I, I really hate saying that because there is something you need to do. And I don't want you being like, okay, hey, 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 Charlie, remember me? No, Virgo, listen to me. If, you, if this person played you, don't you go reaching out to them because now you're, you're doing it again. And they're going to take advantage of it again. They need to learn this lesson. Maybe they need to hook up with somebody that plays them too. I don't know. I don't know. But all I know is they caused you a lot of pain. Do you want to go and rip that scab open and, and go through that healing again? Soulmate, yes. Are they healthy? No. And they're not healthy for you. And I think you know that, which is why, remember this, you got this fresh perspective of who they are and you had to release them. You had to release them. They were driving you batshit crazy This or what they were doing. But they are still watching you. Maybe some of you are watching them. I don't know. But either way, they see you as a Nine of Pentacles, Four of Swords, doing some great things. And I really hope you guys are because I feel like something really, really good is about to happen. Just stick with it. Really stick with it. And try to focus as most as, most as you can. Most as you can. I'm sp I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Try to focus as much as you can on what you need to do for you. For you because this is really, really important, this path. 
Okay, Virgo, that is what I have for you. Oh my gosh, it's a 35 minute reading just for you, my Virgos. Okay, guys, I hope you have a lovely, lovely weekend. I truly do. And I'll see you next week. Take care.